ஹலோ வெல்கம் டு ட்ராவல் வித் சூரி எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி மோஸ்ட் இன்கிரெடிபிள் ஃபீட்ஸ் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் இன் தி வேர்ல்ட் எ க்ரூஸ் அலாங் தி பேனாமா கெனல் எ பேனாமா கெனல் க்ரூஸ் இஸ் இ பர்ஃபெக்ட் வே டு எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் தி கெனல் சோன் ஒய் லேர்னிங் அபவுட் தி ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் தி கெனல் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் தி எய்த் ஒன்ட் ஆஃப் தி வேர்ல்ட் அண்ட் தி ஹிஸ்ட்ரி பிகைன் தி கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஆஃப் தி பேனாமா கெனல் ஆன் எ க்ரூஸ் தட் ட்ராவல்ஸ் த்ரூ தி யூஸ்மஸ் ஆஃப் பேனாமா This partial transit cruise takes you to three of the six locks used along the Panama Canal. The canal's construction is considered one of the largest and most challenging engineering projects ever undertaken. Welcome to the eighth wonder of the world, Panama Canal, Panama. The cruise starts from Flamenco Marina. We had to wake up at 4 in the morning for the shuttle to pick us up. Our driver picked us up at our hotel around 4, 4.15 a.m. Remember, they have to coordinate with the Panama Canal Authority on a transit time and you have to remember to be flexible about the pickup. With this partial transit cruise, your breakfast and lunch will be included as you spend almost 8 hours on the cruise. There are six sets of locks along the Panama Canal but in this partial cruise you will see only three out of six locks that itself is a huge achievement You will see some spectacular sunrise scenes here The bridge of the Americas was completed in 1962 at a cost of 20 million US dollar connecting both north and south american land masses All the tour begins in the morning generally between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. This departure time is assigned by the Panama Canal Authority the day before the tour. That huge ship is the one that we are going to follow the rest of our journey. It's a long and hot day with an early start. While some aspects seem to move at a slow pace, there is something so magical about the day it's going to happen. Our cruise entered the first set of locks called Miraflores Locks. The Panama Canal is a man-made waterway that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It is considered one of the greatest engineering feats of the 20th century. The Panama Canal locks are a lock system that lifts ships up to 85 feet to the main elevation of the Gatun Lake. There are a total of 6 steps, 3 up and 3 down for a ship's passage. The locks were one of the greatest engineering works ever to be undertaken when they opened in 1914. The lock chambers are massive concrete structures and they are 110 feet wide by 1050 feet long with a usable length of 1000 feet. Here is a simple diagram of how the Panama Canal works. There are three set of locks on each side. The ship will be lifted to the Gatun Lake level around 85 feet above sea level by using the locks and chambers. Once it reaches Gatun Lake, the ship will be lowered to Atlantic Ocean by the same reverse process. Once the ship enters into the first set of locks, the locks will be closed and the chamber will be filled with water coming from Gatun Lake that will lift the ship by around 25 feet. Now, 
Now the ship is lifted to 25 feet above sea level from the Pacific Ocean and going towards the second set of locks that is very famous Miraflores locks. The second set of locks are very famous. It is called Miraflores locks and it is near the Miraflores visitor center. It is close to Panama City. It is like a 30 minutes drive and there is a viewing area, there is a visitor center, there is an IMAX theater. The tugboats used to help ships navigate through the Panama Canal. They provide the necessary thrust and control to ensure vessels enter and exit safely even in adverse weather conditions. Now we are in the second set of locks called Miraflores locks and the gate is going to close and they will fill the chamber with water. This massive concrete chamber measuring 110 by 1000 feet filled with 26 million gallons of water. Now we are moving to third and final set of locks called Pietro Miguel locks. Hey guys, uh, uh, the last set of locks, uh, the lock is the third lock, so you can see the lock is going to be the lock is going to be in the area of the water which is going to be in the area of the water which is going to be in the area of the water. This is the last set of locks called Gatun locks named after the artificial lake Gatun Lake. It just takes 10 minutes to lift the ship by 25 to 30 feet above sea level. The massive engineering marvel Panama Canal connects the Pacific Ocean and Atlantic Ocean. I studied about this in my history books during my childhood days, but seeing in person is entirely different feelings. After seeing all three set of locks, now it is time for lunch. The ship is traveling on Gatun Lake, 85 feet above sea level from the Pacific side thanks to the three set of locks. Now the ship will travel around 25 to 30 miles before reaching another three set of locks on the Atlantic side. The Centennial Bridge is a major bridge crossing the Panama Canal. It was built to supplement the overcrowded Bridge of Americas and to replace it as a carrier of the Pan American Highway. The United States built the canal from 1903 to 1914. It was initially operated by the US but was handed over to Panama in 1999. Today, the canal is a major source of revenue for Panama and is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the country. If you are planning a trip to Panama, a canal cruise is a must-do activity. Cruises typically last for about 8 hours and give you a chance to see the canal up close. I hope you all liked my video. If you liked it, please subscribe my channel. 
Thank you so much for watching.